You likely recall the questions posed back in Chapter 1. We asked, does black ASL exist as a variety of ASL in the manner AAE exists as a variety of English? Based on geographic and socio-historical factors, we find black ASL does exist as a variety of ASL. As seen on that mosaic, all black signers produced more two-handed signs than did white signers. All black signers placed more signs in line with the forehead level than did white signers. All black signers employed repetition more so than white signers. Older black signers exhibited a complete absence of mouthing more so than younger signers, although there were some younger signers for whom mouthing was not present. Older black signers use a larger signing space and they often make use of the element of constructed dialogue. As a whole, black signers have unique signs that differ from those used by white signers. We can see that for older signers, their collective, segregated school experiences influence their language, making for variation. It can clearly be seen they encountered discrimination and oppression, but once black and white students were integrated, things changed. A notable comment was made in Chapter 4 by signers who said black signing was substandard, not advanced like white signing. In our linguistic analysis, we found information conflicting with that perception. We see black signers still use more traditional standard signs, such as the two-handed signs for want, had, and don't know, as well as signs placed on the forehead, such as remember, know, and what for. Black ASL is not inferior by any means. As a whole, black ASL is more than just a variety of ASL. It showcases the rich heritage and culture of the black deaf community. This study is just the first step. We are by no means finished. No, there is more research to come. We hope you enjoy this DVD and book.